A very good morning. I'm glad you're still with us here on Morning at 10 TV. For those that are just joining us, welcome on board. Wherever you are, this is the Kickstarter segment and uh, we shall be talking about the decision by the opposition national unity platform on the apparent recalling of uh, Parliamentary Commissioner Matthias Impoga, the MP for Nyendo Mukungwe, who is in the eye of the storm, over 500 million Uganda shillings that was classified as a service award. The gentleman has spoken exclusively, saying that he deserves the service award and he doesn't intend to let that money go, and that those who are criticizing his apparent decision to take the money must be able to look at his works and understand exactly why he needs to be. Uh, told thank you in all aspects that can be. With me in the studio is the spokesperson for the National Unity Platform, Alex Waiswa Mufumbiro, who is going to help us understand the decision by the National Unity Platform. But before we begin talking to him, just a preamble in a statement that was signed by the Acting President, Dr. Lina Zedriga Waru, on Friday evening, the party resolved to recall Matthias Impuga from the commission after he allegedly failed to provide any satisfactory explanation on why he should not be recalled for suspicion of irregular allocation of taxpayers' money. The announcement to recall Mpuga services from Parliament's governing body uh, brought about the highlight onto another member of parliament who is uh, the MP for Mitiana municipality that the party is seeking as a replacement. We shall understand why and the uh, critical dynamics of whether the national unity platform is actually in the know of how things are supposed to be going or within parliament the appointment of a parliamentary commissioner is entirely the role of parliament and therefore the dismissal of such commissioner is again entirely on parliament whether a political party that any one mp leans to can recall a commissioner is also under debate but those are questions that we shall be having answers to. A very warm welcome to the program, Alex Waisom Fumbiro. I am glad uh, to be here again, uh, my brother again. It's always humbling to have an interface on a Monday morning. Uh, to the viewers, good morning. We are the National Unity Platform. You're most welcome. First and foremost, could you take us through the contents of the letter that was written by Dr. <coughs> Zedriga Lina Waru on Friday. What is the thrust? The National Unity Platform cannot recall a parliamentary commissioner. It can urge Parliament to dismiss a parliamentary commissioner. Under uh, what ages understanding did the honchos at the National Unity Platform assume they have the powers to recall a commissioner? I have, we have had uh, many uh, um, elites and corruption apologists, first of all, castigators. Uh, removing anybody from any position is a process. Mm. But what is important is that there, is, uh, um, there are laws that have since stood time uh, in how such a scenario is supposed to be handled. Mm. It is not true that a party cannot recall uh, its commissioner. Why? Because it is the appointing authority. In the Interpretation Act of 2002, as adopted from the Interpretation Decree of 1975, um, through the Reform Law Commission, uh, the country adopted the Interpretation Act of 2002 and section 24, which says that one who has a right to hire has a right to fire. That is uh, the laws of Uganda. Those are not laws of elsewhere. However, there has been a misconception about two processes. One, the process of uh, a party recalling uh, its leader and the process of uh, parliament ejecting its member of parliament. And I want to tell the country in this fold, one, if you look at, uh, if you look at 
for example, a minister, mm. there are processes parliament can eject a minister or impeach a minister. Mm. That is parliament. But then, the appointing authority of that minister, for example, General Yoel Kabutam Seven, mm. still has authority to fire, suspend that person basing on section 24 of the law. However, in the rules of parliament, the procedure of removing or impeaching a minister are also enshrined in their rules and in the constitution of how you begin that process. For example, when you have proven temporary insanity, insanity itself, uh, when the aspirations of uh, why you are there have not been met. Now, the other legal question people must address themselves to is that we are in a multi-party dispensation. Now, if you are in a multi-party dispensation, every person who goes to the commission goes in the interest of the doctrine of multipartism. If the commission is incomplete without a, the two members of the opposition, yeah. even their, 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 their decision would be in effect not substantive as per the ruling of the Honorable Sam Kutesa mm. uh, Nasasida and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the Honorable Nasasida Sam Kutesa and Rukhtana uh, during the Chogam Saga when the land judges were discussing uh, the interpretation of the IGG having the abilities to sue. They looked at, uh, at what constitutes uh, a body that has been uh, already, that is statutory and has offices that are commiserate to its functionability. Mm. Now, just like because the commissioner is at the level of a minister, mm -hmm. the process of removing a commissioner by parliament, when that commissioner has gone against the whims, the discipline of parliament, because the framers of the constitution and the ones that have framed the rules are aware that somebody can be, for example, just like uh, there is a minister, uh, he was called Kabafunzachi. Mm -hmm. He was called Kabafunzachi, the one who was caught with five million over the Aya saga and suspended by Genome 7. One who has been replaced in his constituency by Katashumwa. Mm -hmm. He was suspended by the appointing authority, not impeached by parliament. Mm -hmm. But parliament would have had powers mm -hmm. to impeach that minister without the president igniting the situation and these situations have happened you remember the saga of jim Wes, uh, where parliament actually went in effect and uh, impeached honorable muwez uh, against the interest of the executive because parliament is by the doctrine of independence uh, does not work in isolation to the rule of law and i have told the country they are not immune and don't work with unlimited uh, liability. They work with absolutely limited liability. They can be checked by the institutions yeah. of government. So it is not true. The process that you are aligning yourself to, because let me give you an example. Parliament impeached the Honorable Zaki, but they did not have power to appoint any other commissioner after impeaching uh, illegally the Honorable Zaki, still that power, they had to send us uh, that we are vacant and we send them, we nominate. Now where there is nomination, that is the power of appointment. That is the power because a commissioner is a member of the commission as a designate of uh, the opposition. Mm. Now this is a member who is not being challenged by parliament. But there are processes of him stopping being a commissioner if he has not moved the rims of the discipline of parliament. And I want to give this as the example, just like what happened to Honorable Zake, that parliament found in its own wisdom that Honorable Zake was not fit to be a commissioner, a commissioner despite yeah. the fact that the NUP believed that, that he, he, was uh, fit to be. he was fit to be and he was being a... Uh, uh, blackmailed and maliciously persecuted uh, in those processes. Parliament went ahead using the processes that give it the buffer to eject 
Honorable Zake until when he got a ruling of affirmation from the mm. Constitutional Court. Mm. However, even the party has its own process as an endorser of a designate, as a nominator of a designate. There is no way. The reason why you would understand this easily. If Parliament that, if that were if that were to happen the way you say it ought to happen or can happen. That's the legal that mean, process. Yeah, that yeah. means it will be a precedent of, on its own. We, of course, it is the first time mm. a political party in since 2005 mm. that a political party is recalling its commissioner. This is the first time. And I want to tell you this as well. Today, in, according to them, and I think it is also illegal, I think they are so much empowered at the office of the speaker and the commission mm. that they work... Uh, 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 they work in a very, very uh, unprofessional way, and their word sometimes equals to immunity and, 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 and all severing, but that's not the fact. Let me tell you, they have said that parliamentary administration is two and a half years. It is on parliamentary record, mm -hmm. okay? Has the state now changed its, its, its people after two and a half years? No. For example, the Honorable Sirwani and those other uh, corrupt th uh, th the corrupt three NRM commissioners have not been changed despite the lapse of the two and a half years. Now, this is where... No, the law gives actors, including the state, the leverage to appoint a new... It is not a person. leverage. It is you a know? duty. No, it's not, it's not it, a leverage. In other words, they can they change can, or they can stay. Now, if they can stay mm -hmm. and they are starting another term of two and a half years of administration, mm. then they ought to be reconfirmed. And this is legal. For example, if you, my brother Higeni, your contract expires here, okay? Mm -hmm. You are supposed to renew the contract. Of course. Now, when you renew the contract, the terms and other things become different from the earlier contract. Despite the fact that you are working and having a, the, a, that particular contract with the same person. Mm -hmm. If, I, I want to give you an example. I, I think you being in a private, uh, uh, private entity, it might be difficult. Let me use the example of uh, uh, an attorney general. Mm -hmm. I, I mean the inspector general of police. The inspector general of police is given three years or five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, if he is reappointed... After that contract, he has to go back to Parliament for reapproval. Are we together? Now let me first. Now let me hold you there before we go any further. More than two months ago, I spoke to Joel Senyoni, the new leader of opposition, and I ask I asked the question: Why did the National Unity Platform choose to depose Mathias Simpuga as leader of opposition? In other words, to use the prerogative that it has as a party yes. to change after two and a half years. Yes. Wasn't there the need to let Mpuga run the course of the entire term of a parliament as leader of opposition? Because after all, the nation may be able to judge that he wasn't doing a bad job at that point in time. Senyonyi said that isn't it okay to change? No, okay? and, and, and I wanted to tell you this. You know? Um, he was, Meaning he was, uh, that uh, the yes. sentiment was that yes. we could let him go on, but we have this power and the leverage to change, yes. and we thought we could use it. Yes. In other words, now, you cannot put the National Resistance Movement or any other party who has not been able to change their people or commissioners on account of the fact for you, you feel like no, you no, should no, use no, your... No, 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 I'm on the law. I am on the law. I'm not discussing even the party. Forget mm -hmm. I'm saying... Mm. That to disqualify their understanding, for example, mm. they base on the two and a half years. When we were chasing Mapenduzi out of our, our role uh, on the local government, uh, the speaker ruled and said that we could not do that until it was two and a half years. Mm. And we were also not in agreement with that. Because a party should have power. It has power to check on its, its, its members. Mm. And in its own uh, uh, wisdom and capacity, 
it cannot be stopped by a grouping of people who do not align even to the ideology of that political party. But you're working, we are with, in, you're working within the confines of that group, so you have to understand how it does business. Our existence is the law. Mm -hmm. In whatever we do, our existence is the law. And we cannot disabuse ourselves from the rule of law. That is why we are working with whoever we are working with. But we have uh, the whims and standards as mm -hmm. to which our workings must be understood. And this okay. is what I am saying. If, and I'm in agreement with what you're saying, first of all, the party has ability. He was not changed. He was reassigned. That is why he's a commissioner. <laughs> a team can have somebody playing in number seven. Uh -huh. They bring in a new player, and then they say, no, from playing number seven, play number two. And now with, this one now goes with hindsight, we so, understand there was a reason as to why he was changed. And that we, is we, we, we were being, we, 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 have, we, we have a duty mm. uh, as a party not to be uh, at the forefront, all leaders, of failing and uh, putting the abilities of other leaders and comrades uh, to disrepute. That is not our stand. Mm -hmm. We want to be together because we are a family. So uh, even if you want to push us that you have now reason, we think that it was reassignment, and that reassignment was from LOP to commissioner, which is a converted portfolio. You see, it is one that we are having. The reason I say over. it was uh, predetermined something that we thought about is because the principle of the National Unity Platform says this particular service award came to your knowledge hardly a year it after is, it, it is the true. leader of opposition it, 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 was it, it, named. Yes, it Meaning is true. by the time you decided that at the, you actually no was waiting for the half year period to come and get rid of Mpuga. You understand? That was what was happening. You wanted this to that happen. That is not true. You so badly wanted that the two and a half years to elapse you, so you, that you could get rid of Mpuga. I, I think that we, Despite no. the fact that all hochos have within we, the National Unity Platform we, were saying we, the opposite. Have we got rid okay. of him? Effectively. No. He's, by he's by a seeking, commissioner. Mm -hmm. Yourself, you're interpreting mm -hmm. that we don't have powers of where we put him. So we put him somewhere we don't even have powers to remove him and you say that we are planning to eject him according to that analysis <laughs> though the, i i i have well, to disagree we have, with it we, it was a reassignment we've been vindicated it was a, we asked those it, questions it was a reassignment, a reassignment and take this from me okay he was having another role mm. he was reassigned to another role and and what we are discussing and 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 and, and to be factual mm. this is not a matter that must be reduced to nup and impoga this is nup versus corruption this is nup versus abuse of office this is nup versus morality this all right is nup versus I love, illegality. I, love, I love it when you say nup versus corruption nup yeah. versus illegality nup versus unfairness have you interrogated the amounts of money that are disbursed to other members of the National Unity Platform yes. while conducting duty yes. within the precinct or within the workings of parliament. We, we, have, we are the party. Let mm. me tell you, my president was addressing the BBC and uh, it became a controversial interview simply because he said that his members of parliament had been bought by Museveni. Mm. Um, now, if you're having your leader of opposition, one of the most ranking senior leaders, mm. uh, being bribed and uh, selling uh, his people for 500 uh, million shillings, that has concrete evidence. The reason we are discussing about this corruption, the service of office, uh, this treachery by Mr. Mpoga is because it is evidenced, it is documented, it is in the minutes, it is in the Auditor General's report, it is on the answered. Now, this is evidence we could not run away from. Uh, we have spoken, I have been on this platform, spoken about Tuahakagabo, I have been on this platform, spoken about uh, 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 um, um, uh, Honorable Tevandike, you know that the Honorable Tua Kagawa took back the 40 million before getting a pushback from the Honorable Mpuga, who we had agreed that he would mm -hmm. be the person to receive it and take it back. We had a meeting, and in that meeting, mm -hmm. uh, members of parliament agreed. In fact, it was their intelligence that there was dubious money being given out. People came out and agreed to the meeting mm -hmm. that they had actually 
picked this money, the party resolved that within 48 hours, those that had accepted would take back the money. This very scenario is, uh, in, is, 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 is a twin uh, to, 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 to what is happening with the Honorable Mpuga because after we established that, for example, the Honorable Mpuga, why he himself should reflect that this was dirty money, he, ha he said on CBS that we have not been given opportunity to enjoy the platform. He said mm. uh, that he had not received the money. And uh, he was waiting for the very first installment. And it is now public knowledge mm. that he received the money. Uh, the government spokesperson of Ono Pondo attested to that. For us, before we had the evidence, it was allegation, as they were saying. Uh, the spokesperson of parliament attested to the fact that that money was disembarked uh, through uh, uh, a guarantee letter from the speaker uh, to the parliamentary circle. That is how the money was realized, 1.7 billion. It's not 500 million. 500 million 500 to is, is person to holder. 1.7 yeah, the and, and, and for us, the reason why the national inter platform uh, is 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 out on Mpuga is because that is where we have liability. That is where we have a responsibility. That is where our our our, our representation lies. Mm. We we cannot we don't have power uh, by the law to act on members of the NRA, although we are compelling the entire country to rise up and have all these people resign, the, the commissioners of NRA, the speaker, uh, it is total abuse of government resources. And they have not been consistent in their communication. Uh, the spokesperson of parliament is inconsistent with his submissions about the saga. Uh, the mafia speaker is equally very inconsistent. What she said on the floor of parliament is not what she said. What would, you, a, love, what would you love the speaker and the spokesperson for parliament say? What information do you need? Let them, let, let them come out clear. Let them stop the escapism. You see, um, escapism is where you do some other action uh, to run away from the reality, from the truth. You go for a drinking spree, uh, thinking that the deaths will run away. The following morning, they will be on your door. Uh, you'll have to face them. Um, they are running away from the answers. The questions are this exorbitant. Mm. It is a fact that uh, Madame Anita has picked in the last one and a half years over 15 billion All through right. emissaries, mm. through her personal account, which is irregular in the laws of Uganda, irregular in uh, the Leadership Act, irregular as enshrined in the Corruption Act. It abuses. We have been here speaking about Mabati. Mabati Has that is uh, 20,000. Yeah. The Mabati that the speaker uh, stole the other time uh, that we were discussing was 7 million. And they had to return the Mabati. What makes them think that they cannot return uh, this 1.7 billion? And mm. the very parliament is on public record in 2017, where we had even uh, a more uh, glittery scenario of the six billion that had been given to the members of the Uganda Revenue Authority, headed by the former executive director Doris Akol, for winning a case of 1.4 trillion in London of, uh, against Talo Oil, money that we had lost. When they came back to Genome 70, they asked Genome 70 that they should be given a reward for helping Uganda get back uh, the 1.4 trillion. You remember the presidential handshake of that, the billions. Mm -hmm. We ended up, Genome 7 ended up confirming that actually he would return the money on behalf of these people because he had irregularly given Good. out that handshake. Right. Anita Among Before is on record. She's on record. Qualifying the handshake mm. as solicitation. Before we it cannot be yes. that then you saw white and now you're defining it black. So if I may ask, why hasn't the acting president of the National Unity Platform, Dr. Lina Zedriga Waru, addressed these concerns as vehemently as she addresses the issue of uh, recalling uh, Puga from Which the concerns? commission? Which concerns? Concerns of including 
the calling upon the speaker to explicitly come out yes and uh, show for example if i were the national unity platform what i would be asking the speaker is to release her payment schedule her salary and her allowances because that would is public domain you haven't asked that we have in we have explicitly we have you have alluded have. to the fact we have where is it in the letter thank you it's not about the letter now that's not how parliament works Parliament works when things are brought on the floor. Our leader of opposition mm -hmm. is on record this Friday. Mm -hmm. The matter was brought by our leader of opposition on the floor of a parliament to he have urged a discussion. The no, 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 no. To address the, the he, issues he did not in the urge. media. He did not urge. Okay. He did not urge. He asked the speaker mm -hmm. that it was the duty of a people centered parliament, verbative of his own words, mm -hmm. to give accountability to what. Uh, is flying outside there because the people deserve the answers and that debate was extremely heated mm -hmm. it was uh, it was adjourned remember that before parliament had been adjourned signed die mm -hmm. not even giving a day when it would come back irregularly plenary was called on friday and i can tell you it was hot it was not a day business as usual so as Joel we Senyoni, have yes. Joe, our, our our parliamentary front mm. is equally taking the steps necessary that they are supposed to take and what are those I was just going to ask what are these steps that are being taken by the leader of opposition has he written to the clerk asking for this information including the per diem and the allowances of the speaker what this, they the, are the 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 because that is now, pretty much his oversight, oversight yeah, role the, spe the the leader of opposition mm -hmm. has written to the speaker first of all on the first step mm -hmm. to call uh, a commission meeting that has not been called since august do we have evidence of that? Has he written? Yes. It, it, it is is it possible it, to share? NTV has it. it huh? NTV should help us uh, yeah. uh, put it up because okay. that was uh, the last presser mm -hmm. of, uh, of, 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 I think, Wednesday. Because he one did. thing is for sure, you will go before the media and the cameras my brother, and say my, this. My brother. You have to write my, to my, the clerk of parliament. Now I'm saying, I am asking the I clerk. Am, I am informing you. To share information. Just for the public. I am right. informing you mm. that that has been done. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, in light with NUP versus corruption, NUP versus, uh, you said legality? Uh, theft, uh, theft and uh, all these concerns. Yeah. There are MPs within the National Unity Platform who have been allegedly thought to have received money yes. or payments regarding what the public cannot actually understand, including about uh, what people think or say is the run-up to the election in 2026. Have these concerns been addressed within the National Unity Platform? We, we, Do we know these individuals? We have, we have a lot of mechanisms. Do you intend to write to the speaker we have, to recall them we as have, MPs? No, we don't have powers to recall members of parliament. And that is why you want, I want you to understand uh -huh. us. No. Mm. And that has been settled in the case of Sechikuo, mm. uh, Muhammad Din Sereko, um. and uh, Tinka Simiri. Mm. That has been settled by the courts of law. Okay. We, we don't have powers to recall them uh, as a party unless we go through the processes uh, of having over two thirds in the constituency. Is that a hard one to do? No, no, no. We, 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 are, we, we, we have a lot of work. What lot, load. what lot of work do you have as National Unity Platform if you cannot condition the electorate to recall members of parliament on account of issues that you, see, you say are pertinent now, to you as a we, party? We, 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 the, 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 the busiest job that we have mm. is to break the system that has been the mother of all this mess removing the dictatorship of genome 7 because at the end of the day the mess where we are the the disrespect of the rule of law the breakdown of institution the acrimony in the doctrine of separation of powers is manifested by his military dictatorship uh, don't you think so it, would it is the, it, well it is I, I am i am i am coming if there. you were to now, trigger now we signatures. are whipping mm -hmm. we are whipping the deputy president Mm. of Buganda, Central Region. We are whipping our esteemed uh, elder, one of the most senior leaders in the National Inter-Platform, 
what would make it difficult for others. We are not excited that we are doing these things out of excitement. We are doing it out of reality and out, uh, out of respect for the rule of the law. These members of parliament that we have spoken about, mm. um, um, the Tuahakagabos, the Tebandekes, and others that we publicly know, uh, the time of the party to take uh, decisions where that evidence has been given will come. But they don't hold responsibilities of the party. You know very well that Tebandeke was fired by Honorable Bompuga when the issues of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 of the 40 million came up and the issues of uh, the forestry. It is in the, hon in the Honorable Mpuga's government, the Honorable Tebandeke was fired. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we have been taking action. But then the actions that we take, and as a party, uh, you keep we, quiet on we, it. We, we keep them. You and, don't choose and, and, to broadcast. And, yeah, because unless it is a matter of public domain, we are alive of but many, is. many systems. These members of parliament is have, public domain. We have spoken about yeah. them. I am here speaking about their names. Few people you've not say written. That. You've not gone ahead to effectively want action I, against them. Because I have them. told you there is. Because a, on a, I have told you there is a ruling of Sech Kubo, mm. of Tinka Simide. So what, what is blocking are, you, are, what is blocking the party from triggering an, a search or uh, getting signatures from the electorate to condition the, the, kind, our of, the kind of recall that our, is allowed within the law? Our electorate are alive to whatever is happening. Mm. They are with us and uh, they know. They know those people who have sold them. They know what will be done to them. And we know what uh, you're praying. What we know. We know. We are not even praying. <laughs> you're we know. praying. We know. We know. We know. Okay. We know. We know what to do. And we that is what. And, and that's where the problem is. In as much as you're seen to want to go for the big fish, and create the impression now, that you the, can actually this, go and fight corruption point, head on. Yes. If you cannot avoid or rather deal with the compounding evidence, of corruption. Evidence, my brother. Yeah. Evidence. In other words, you don't have evidence for these we do, members of we, parliament. We, we do not have sufficient sufficient evidence. evidence you see in in this matter the balance of probabilities and weight is on us okay this so is you the, don't have the capacity to get any iota of evidence we have we have capacity that these MPs we have, have received we, the money we have capacity that is why the story of that mm -hmm. money was broken by national interplatform mm -hmm. Thank God on NTV mm -hmm. uh, morning show like we are today, mm -hmm. and those people were given 48 hours. It is the story you broke, you remember. We did. Now, if we gave you a story to break about the no, you didn't uh, give us. We worked. No, 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 no. I was here. It is yeah. me who told you that yeah. we had a. Yes, we invited you, so we. Uh, <laughs> and I told you out of the context <laughs> you know? of the debate that actually our members of parliament had been given 48 hours. Mm. We are doing things in a systematic way. We are not in a rush. We are in charge of the party, and the decisions that we are making are for the benefit of our future children. Let's talk about being in charge of the party and ensuring that perhaps whatever is running is running on the dictates of your original founding uh, principles. Right now, Mpuga is widely known as a former Democratic Party honcho. There is talk that, for example, some of the officials who joined the National Unity Platform from other parties are not as welcome as you might want us to believe. And this could be a vendetta or something that is aimed at ensuring that finally they can be dealt with in terms of either excommunication or bring them under control. Something that is perhaps <laughs> causing the political bickering mm -hmm. uh, and contestation take. between the principal and uh, the likes of Mpuga? F first of all, our principal is a formidable person. He's, I, uh, I, I didn't question he's, that. No, uh, uh, somebody saying that he is, uh, he, is, he is working out of fear of somebody's... I mean, I think the Honorable Mpuga mm. has, been, has blossomed more politically under Bobby Wine's leadership than any other person's no, leadership. No, he was an established politician it, before it joining is, the it, National Unity let Platform. Me, let me give you the history. Mm -hmm. I was his boss mm -hmm. uh, five years ago. Mm, I was the deputy spokesperson of NUP. He was not even a member of a village in the party. 
I mean, uh, he was not even uh, a leader of a village of, of our party structure in the villages. I welcomed the Honorable Mpuga uh, in 20 uh, no. from. Wait. His established political reputation is on account not. He was independent. No, before, Do you know that he was independent? Before joining the, the National term? Unity Platform. Now, before mm -hmm. he was independent, mm -hmm. he came as an independent, an independent candidate. Yep. The person that he defeated was the Honorable uh, Kawanga, uh, the Honorable Kawanga, uh, John Baptist Kawanga mm -hmm. of, 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 of Masaka, mm -hmm. uh, a legislature who even participated in the CA a renowned lawyer, but it was not about experience. Time, so, and, and he was the deputy president of, 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 NU, of, of DP in, uh, in Uganda uh, by the time uh, the Honorable Mpuga stood against him. So I think that does not matter. What matters is that when he stood first, he was independent. He has only been in DP for five years, as far as I can tell you, uh, the records of the Democratic Party. Uh, he was not anything mm -hmm. in the DP apart from being member of parliament. The ten years he spent so in being a member wait, of parliament in a political the party ten years, is nothing. The ten years in DP, I'm talking about the structure of the party. Okay. Because even here we are talking about the structure of the party. Mm -hmm. Even in parliament, he had not served as even deputy chairperson of a committee, not even as a shadow minister. It is under the wisdom, the generational leadership of. Chagulani Robert Sentam, that he has been deputy president of a political party. It is his first test in his, his political life, being a deputy president. He has been the leader of opposition, the most converted in parliamentary uh, opposition politics. Mm -hmm. He is now uh, struggling to remain uh, illegally into the office of commissioner because you know what comes with it. It is the NUP that has given him this light. So, so why, would, anybody, why would you totally mishandle a case like not, this uh, see, we are not, it is in addressing it. Uh, in, if if what, you what, regard him in, that in, way. Yeah. yeah because because uh, people are saying that, well, going against the corrupt is understandable, and any, any party should be able to go against the corrupt. But the letter and the Which tone, letter? the intention. Which letter? The, the intention. The letter, the you first know? letter, the first letter was advisory. No. You remember? It was not punitive. It was advisory. Mm. And all of you uh, and other corruption apologists. I'm uh, not a corruption uh, no, no, apologist. No, no, no. Abza, Please I said, do not. I said all of you. Do not. Wait, I I'm said, an independent journalist asking the question. I have said all of you and other. Well, meaning, all of, then what's that, what meaning, does that mean? Meaning, How can you put all of you and other in the same <laughs> sentence? <laughs> meaning, meaning that you, you may not you be know? as them. All but right. corruption apologists have stated mm -hmm. that one, we did not follow the law simply because the first letter was advisory. I even saw some other naive person speaking about a signature on a communique, but that one was understood that that was their level of understanding. This matter is being, has been handled mm. uh, nowhere of, to use the right word. Transparency. Yes, with transparency. Mm -hmm. The only issue is that it is against our greatest, our own, our, one of our best, mm. but then uh, if you're going, you know, you cannot give what you don't have. We stand our core values, integrity, discipline, and this action of Honorable Mpuga was even against a meeting he himself chaired in Jinja. Because in Jinja, this issue was discussed, he chaired the meeting, and then he abused the very meeting of an oath this, the, whatever is happening is actually contractual with our leadership in parliament mm. because they did an oath of allegiance against this acrimony in the Nile Resort Resolution. Alex so if you go against middle. what you have uh, uh, taken oath mm -hmm. over, then definitely it is only uh, courageous of you uh, to follow uh, the interest of the party if you really, really, really uh, are a true uh, member of that part. All right. Alex Wysom from Biro, spokesperson of the National Unity Platform. Many thanks for that. We shall be going for a break, but uh, when we return, take us through what next in light of what is no doubt the debate on uh, who can actually bring the commissioner out or stay him within that particular position. What are you going to do if what you want is not adhered to by parliament. Do stay with us. You're watching the Kickstarter on Morning at NTV. We shall be right back. 
who are trying to make ends meet within the city are going through. We do applaud the police's uh, need to be able to rectify and, of course, streamline some of this work. But like you had, some of the concerns that are being raised by the operators is that there's a bit of high-handedness. And uh, sometimes when uh, issues including the lack or inconsistency in the documentation that they ought to have is found, then it is not handled as fairly as it ought to be handled. We are hoping that everyone can be happy at the end of the day uh, so that public transport within the city can be streamlined. We are glad you're still with us here on Morning at NTV. Kickstarter segment, let's now return to the studio where we are speaking to the spokesperson of the National Unity Platform, Alex Waisoma from Bureau, on the probing of uh, the former uh, leader of opposition, Mathias Impuga, by the party on account of what the party says is gross corruption. Of course, the background is to the fact that a service award of 500 million Uganda shillings was handed to Matthias Impoga. The gentleman himself has asked the question, why do you think he should not be appreciated? Well, the National Unity Platform says this is corruption because that money is not anywhere within the legal framework that the leader of opposition is supposed to receive. Let me return to the studio. Alex Waiswamufumbiro, you've written to the Speaker, or Parliament for that matter, and uh, when do we expect a reply on this particular letter that was written by uh, the, the, Acting the, President? The, the, the Speaker is running hide and seek. Uh, they have now pushed Parliament two weeks up front. Uh, when it is not sitting. Mm. But this is a matter we are going to follow up. This is a matter. You see, it is very appalling. If you look at uh, the speed, the, 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 the reaction of the speaker on the Honorable Zake mm. uh, and the reaction now when it is a matter of accountability uh, and service for the people, then you realize that they are running away from, from the truth. But, you know, let me tell you and let me tell the country, mm -hmm. The edges of running away from the truth in terms of public governance have elapsed. Uh, they will be held accountable. This, you know, this criminality is bigger than the pension scam of uh, of Obey. Of Obe Obe Obe. And, 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 and no, 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 Obey. Uh, uh, he was called Obey. Uh, there was Obey, there was another gentleman, Op Opoka, Opoka. and, uh, and, uh, and this, the, the public service pension scam mm -hmm. of Sajabi. This is worse. The scam of Kazinda, mm. it is a replica of this. The Mabati scandal, this is more deadly. Because let me tell you, Chris Obore, in a space of 250 days, Picked over 1.9 billion in auspices of cooperative social responsibility by the speaker. In 250 days, another person, Rani Ismail, picked over 4 billion. In about 250 days, another person, I think, is called Aketa or Oketa, picked over 4 billion in cooperative social responsibility. Now, this is money being taken directly to the account. Let me tell you, you are NTV. I would ask you how much have you received from Parliament uh, as contractual to do their work. Let me tell you, Mama Radio in Bukedea, we don't know whether that radio reaches Kampala, whether it reaches Vusoga, but Mama Radio in Bukedea went away with a whooping 3.1 billion to cover parliamentary work in Bukedea. The signatories to this money, you know them? They are members and staff of the office of the Speaker of Parliament. Let me, let me ask this now, question. In light of all these revelations and uh, what now the Speaker calls rumors and uh, allegations, no, shall say it. has the National Unity Platform, uh, not recalling, I was going to use the wrong word, has it asked the Leader of Opposition to address the party national executive committee or the top organs on aspects including the disbursement of money within parliament or advise on that matter. It is neck taking the whip. Mm -hmm. This is a very taking serious Taking the whip is one thing. How it is you engaged the leader of opposition? Has he addressed NOPE on these matters and taken you through 
some of the aspects, including release of money, how money is disbursed to members of parliament, for what particular role, and at what point. Because what we are seeing on social media is yet to be verified. No, 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 okay? no, 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 no. You cannot say it is yet to be verified. You, you have seen mm -hmm. the Auditor General's query. The Auditor, Gen the Auditor General's query is no doubt being seen. Once there is a query, and mm -hmm. what is the query about? It always it's comes a, down it's to about the it, no, specifics. No, no, yeah, the specifics. And that's why, like, it's look. about misappropriation. Wait, mm -hmm. the Auditor General's query mm. after our actions, mm. because it has come after our actions, the Auditor General's query is, is commensurate to what we are saying. It is talking about misappropriation of resources, mm. because every money that is spent publicly has a vote. Okay? It is talking about misappropriation of resources. It is talking about a hist in recruitment. It is talking about uh, 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 salaries, affecting of salaries. You know, this is the first time in the history of parliament that members of parliament can also take a month without pay, simply because of bad administration of the commission. It is not something we will not run away. We will run away from, and uh, these issues are being discussed in the party. But remember that our party is corrupt free. That is part of our, our, our dogma. And uh, once we, 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 we finalize with this, we believe that the processes of, first of all, having accountability within our party, mm -hmm. members who are supposed to have accountability must be held accountable, and then we'll look at the greater picture. However, the greater picture is always when we take government. That is where we want to give the best service. It is no wonder we are taking a harder stance on even our very own. Let me tell you, in such scenarios when you are at war and such treachery occurs, I can tell you if it was a bloody war, mm -hmm. it would be a kakumbi. Well, kakumbi, is, uh, <laughs> that is vernacular, right? Yes, uh -huh. kakumbi is a ho. In, 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 the, kumbi, in, in right. the NRA, in era, mm -hmm. when you are known to be trying to do things that would affect uh, the, the the progress of the NRA gorilla war. You're, you're doing kakumbi. They would hit you a hole in the head, <laughs> and you fall in a ditch, <laughs> and they bury you that way. But for us, okay. we are bloodless. We can only take action by asking people to step aside. When it comes to the workings of a political party, time always tells. Many times, the posturing will happen. The talk about how you are corrupt-free will happen. However until such a time that uh, the national unity platform also makes public some of its uh, accountability issues then perhaps we shall be able to judge you well, for now we do like, not know for like, example like, mm. wait for now we do not know for example how much money the principal gets how much the Deputy various activists get which ideally if a party is seeking to govern mm. must be able to release I information get, and I get, get free. I am here. I get 2.5. Is that too much? That is hearsay. I am I'm, I'm saying. That is hearsay. No, no, no. It cannot be hearsay it, when you're getting you know? it from no, the no, first no, no. person. Secondly, mm. let, me, We've seen, let, me, let me say this. Mm. The National Unity Platform is managing uh, taxpayers' constitutional money. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. And every money that is released, our, our first supervisor mm. is the Electoral Commission. Now, what I'm is just the Electoral Commission? Yes, yeah. of even expenditure. Not only the expenditure actual of income that has been brought in by, uh, from that vote, entire expenditure of the party, the entire workings of political parties mm. are supervised no, right by the now, Electoral Commission. How that just, works? Just a minute, just a minute. Just, you. just a minute. Is this information just, public? Just that's a minute. The, yes, it is, is public. It public? Yes. Is it on the, on the portal? No, no, is no, it, no. That is, is it accessible? Is, is your salary on the portal? Is it accessible? Is your, it is. This entity is a private it entity. It is accessible. Eh? Wait, yeah. that is where I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Now, all public entities, the access to information is clear. Mm. Okay? Our reports are audited, just like Parliament is audited. Mm -hmm. The discussion we are talking about is from the Auditor General's report. That's right. Okay? Our books of accounts are handed in, I think, every six months. To the Auditor General? The, yes. Mm -hmm. Because this money comes from the Consolidated Fund. This is the law. So, 
That we, is on money no, 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 government no, no. gives the party. Yes. And that and is what can be audited you, only. You yourself, you're saying, you yourself, eh? you, uh, yes, do you, know how, do you know that there is a law that estoppels political parties mm -hmm. from a particular threshold, I think not even more than 100 million shillings? Did you know Wouldn't that? Wouldn't you, for example? So, even when you, mm. you, 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 you believe that there are other monies that are being mobilized for other work that they should also that be That is exactly given. what we want. And that is what I'm yeah. saying. Oh, it enhances transparency. Yes. It also yes. strengthens your now, case let me tell to you, fight against for example, those that do not account. For example, there is that belief mm -hmm. that NUP has particular foreign investors. Mm -hmm. That's not true. It's not true. That is again hearsay. It is not. Yeah, it is hearsay from those who live in 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 uh, in in in. So in, as a spokesman, as a spokesman, I am telling you, who is your funder? You should be able to release this information. Who is our funder? You know that. Who are your funders? For we example, we have local businessmen here mm -hmm. that I would be uh, naive mm -hmm. to give you names. Of course, given you can't, given, the but you would wait, show wait given a, a certain threshold. For example, I'm a saying, mobilization campaign. That says now, for example, there was a time Nope collected ten thousand Uganda shillings. Yes. Where did it go? Thank did you. Did you share that information? Thank you. Is it available? Th thank you. Is it accessible? Thank you. Or we shall have again call thank, you thank and you. you tell us to see you tomorrow. Thank you. No, 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 no. It was called Mudaku Muda. Uh huh. Mudaku Muda was supposed to help our party through the election mm. processes. We are the first political party in Uganda. Where does Wait. Semwanga in Gomba find that information? I am, I, I am here now giving it because you are asking. Can I give it? After the hearsay? Yes. No, 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 no. It's not after the hearsay. All monies that we collected during Mudaku Muda, first mm. of all, for a person to nominate as a candidate, one mm -hmm. needed to have three million shillings. Okay. You know that? To nominate? Yes. That's right. Not every of our candidates had that capacity. Mm -hmm. Number two. On these monies, we had to do a campaign for the president all over the country, not mm -hmm. missing fuel, because remember, for us, we were not benefiting from any political fund, constituency mm -hmm. fund. We were new, barely two weeks, and needed uh, to work around. Let me tell you, we had posters all over the country. And some of these things did not come monetary like you want to think. Some of these things, people would come up and say, you know what, because this is a people-centered political party. People do not only give resources mm. through monetary, as people think. No. Somebody wakes up in the morning and says, you know what? I am going to handle the issue of flyers here. And people did those flyers. They looked for people to give them out. It was purely people said Don't you record they, that they, somewhere? They, some of them we don't even record. Why would you cannot you? you cannot say that out of... If somebody uh, offered... The 70,000... We to, cannot say you know, that there are people who offered without mm. even being noticed. Something so, as simple as a wedding meeting. If somebody says, me, I'm not bringing cash, but I'm going to offer catering services because I have a company that yes, does that. Yes. We put it down. They have so been that a, they are not complaining. Sees, they have know. been appreciated. And you, you are talking, <laughs> you, you are talking about maybe 50 people. Mm. Maybe f it was what was all over the country. I can tell you, uh, in, 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 in many places, we would reach a petrol station, okay, mm -hmm. when we are still waiting for the money to have it, maybe from the Secretary General, from the Secretariat, we are shorthand, and then as you branch uh, at a petrol station, somebody is in the other car across and says, you know what, I don't want to be seen, but fill all those vehicles. That is different. Now, no, this those, is, are, those are acts of kindness. No, they are, they, they, Support. Yes. So like, I want to tell that is that is fanaticism. It is the, no, it's not fanaticism. There are aspects of support. It is the a role. It is a that role. That should be documented. It is a role. If National Unity Platform is going to fight corruption, yes. you must be seen to practice transparency at the basic Where level. do you find okay? darkness? We do not have information, for example, on what? Your funding structure. Our funding structure is one, it is clear, it is in the, it is in the Constitution and it is limited by uh -huh. the Political Parties Act. Listen to me very clearly. Mm. There are levels of fundraising we cannot do internationally and this is in the Constitution as a political party. Mm. We are not supposed uh, to call monies from foreigners because it will influence the mindset of our indigenous governance. Mm. That is in the law. 
So even as you dream that probably there is somewhere <laughs> we are picking lots of stashes dream. of money. Yes, because dream. there are those who see us in the name of money. We are not being driven by money. No, we are being driven by the cause Removing of liberating this country. And the problem about liberating this country has been driven. We are not the richest. Do I look, when I am before you, do I look like the most successful businessman or the richest? You have all the... I am as, as smart yeah. as you are. No, I am as smart as you are. For you in a Dubai <laughs> court. No, 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 Let's leave it at That's that. That's not true. Now, as we enter the final bend of this discussion, the National Unity Platform has literally set the stage for 2026 within its own confines to what is going to be a very tough battle. Mathias Impuga in Nyendo Mukungwe is no doubt a very formidable politician. Now that there appears to be a rift, he has not accepted what the party wants him to mm. accept. What's the way forward? The party is stronger. Excommunication? The party is stronger than people. Excommunication is the next I am, The party is stronger than people. Mm. And that is what we are building. Are you going to expel uh, Nobody, and I want this to be on public record, nobody in the National Inter Platform mm. is above the National Inter Platform. You know, we are on the foundation of dead people. Now, if those people passed on and we are still fighting the cause, then nobody can deter us, blackmail us into weakness of not taking action. Guide us. And, uh, and I can guarantee to you uh, that we are as powerful as we were in Masakanya and Mukungwe. Uh, our support has actually increased. Mm -hmm. um, you will see that in times to come because we always work with actions. You will see that uh, we are not scared and worried about whatever everybody wants to hallucinate about. Um, as an institution, we are firm that this was the correct, the correct path. This is an absolute both legal and moral decision. Uh, we stand by it. And How much time does Mpuga have to change his mind on his response to the party? The party is not in a hurry. Mm. The facts have been put on table. Timelines have not been drawn. Mm. It, we, looking, uh, we don't mind if he comes out tomorrow, if he comes out. And, and, and for us as a party, by the way, mm. what we are fighting for is for him to fulfill what we agreed upon. Because he has an admission mm. on public record. If on, he doesn't on our do own that, record, what's next? We will cross the bridge when we reach there. No, you cannot say you will cross the bridge when you get there. Mm. The National Unity Platform has set principles yes. and guidelines of conducting business. Yes. If you have written a letter to Parliament yes. on the same, yes. you have also addressed him on the same, yes. and he has responded, not in the affirmative, yes. then you know what is next. Uh, we, 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 I, I want to be fair. I mm. don't, he can have a change of mind. He can have a change of heart. I want to give him that opportunity as much as I can. Uh, why would I rush to make a decision? I want to give him time to reflect. I mean, as a party, we want to give him time to reflect. We want to, we believe that uh, the person that we know of decorum will act in the affirmative. But it takes time. This is not uh, something simple. It is a tall order on him. And uh, we believe that the morals will supersede the interests of individuals and will chart a way forward. I can assure you. Uh, that uh, we are not working towards punishment, we are working towards uh, rehab rehabilitation. rehabilitation and uh, wow. uh, we can guarantee that if all things go well, we are mm. ready to rehabilitate and have and, and move forward. We are cautious uh, of uh, the, the, the great work that he has done, okay. but then we are handcuffed uh, by the immorality of the 500 million and the illegality uh, that was shielded. You know, this corruption is seven is corruption shielded by Anita Among, and uh, we cannot go away uh, without uh, putting it to order. That is part of the reason why we are in this struggle. Alex Waisom from I would be remiss if I do not ask what is happening in Dokolo right now with regard to the nomination processes, the We are in the final the run, stages of the in campaign. The, in the run up to the cam the yeah. voting and yes. how the national unity platform intends yes. to yes. dislodge first and foremost the heir apparent to the Dokolo women MPC, the daughter, but also the national unity platform. I wish uh, I would get uh, uh, in a media analysis uh, from NTV about mm -hmm. what is there, but yesterday 
I can uh, satisfactorily. So the reports you. about what's going on are there? Yeah, I, was, I, I, can, I, was, I, can. I was asking about yeah, the national. I, I, no, I just plus. wanted such that people don't say we, we are excited. I wanted to say <laughs> according to the media reports, but uh, our beloved uh, uh, generational vision bearer and leader, His Excellency Robert Chagulani sent him yesterday, uh, spent the whole day in Dokolo with our candidate, uh, who is performing extremely well. She is pulling the crowds. Uh, she is uh, very articulate, eloquent at that. She's a daughter of the land. Um, she's educated. Uh, she has been appreciated by the people. She has a great message for the people of Dokolo after a long term. You know, they are, they are overlapped by fatigue of uh, one individual leadership for the last uh, so many years. So they believe oh, that, uh, yeah, they believe that this will be the best uh, person. And uh, I want to thank them mm -hmm. for the reception of our party, our leader, the Secretary General, all of them are in Dokolo. Okay. In fact, I remained behind because I am here. I am sure that uh, we would win. We are glad you chose uh, to come here. Yeah, uh, final win. question, final question, Alex uh, Waiso. Why didn't the opposition uh, form a coalition against the National Resistance Movement? Was there any attempt to that? If there wasn't, shouldn't there was no attempt have happened there was no attempt to why that. why uh because you don't nope drive that uh, ask parties, for that coalition you see you can't parties all these political parties uh, 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 have to show up for political space. How do you remove are, the dictator are, as you claim you want to remove the dictator when you can't agree on things we don't as want basic as national, You see, if, if you say national inter-platform, you are making us a monopoly. And that is what we have demystified. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be... You're not a monopoly. We don't want, to be, the, we don't want to be the class monitors of the opposition. No. First of all, we are not... So in other words, you not, waited for another party to we ask are not, and there wait, was no question, we don't so want, you chose to We don't go. want to be class monitors of the I'm revolution. Of and okay. I want to tell you mm. uh, that for us, we are doing what we can. Mm. Uh, the beauty about it, uh, my brother, is that the people are already coalitioned. Alex Waisom from Bureau, spokesperson of the National Unity Platform. Many thanks for your perspective on uh, the party's decisions and uh, probing of uh, immediate former leader of opposition, Matthias Simpoga. It's been a pleasure talking to you. It's always a pleasure. And that will do it for this edition of uh, Morning at NTV. But as uh, last ritual, as we depart, we're going to have to say happy birthday to an individual and of course wish them the very best of life. Yesterday was and my birthday as well. It was your birthday? Yeah. The party? Uh, you? I didn't have a party, but a few of my friends took All me. right. Happy birthday. And, of course, we do hope that uh, the days and the years ahead will be as glorious and fruitful as they are. That is the young man there. Very, very, very handsome. He's called Hal Karim. Halim. Halim is the name. All right. Halim, happy birthday. You're looking good. And... Uh, I would be remiss again if I don't say happy birthday, Alex Waisom from Biro. Thank you. Yeah. To to hey. All right. Looking think, forward to seeing you maybe in the UCC. In the U In our government. I Things am a broadcaster change. and pretty much comfortable at morning attending. No, it is uplifting. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Have a nice day. We'll see you tomorrow.